Hello everyone and welcome to Tech with Robert, the Get Started with T-SQL course. Today we're going to talk about the WHERE, OR and the AND operators, which are used to filter the results that we display from a query. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, give a thumbs up on the video if you like what I do, leave comments in the comment sections. That really helps me to know what I do well and what you guys want me to improve or focus more on in the future lectures. So without further ado, let's dive right into. So here we're gonna we're gonna sort of continue from where we left off in the other course. And if we look at, let's say for example here we see we have displayed you know the customer key, first name and last name from the customers table. But what if we wanted to say for example, we want all of the customers whose first names is John. How could we write that query? So if we just take this copy here, we, we take this query and copy it to and paste it down below here, we could continue and to say where. So the where keyword is used to apply filters so we can so we can derive in a subset of the data so we don't get everything. We, we, we want to filter. So here we want to say where, and then we need to specify the column. So we say where the first name is equal to and then you know, single quotes here is equal to John so if we now run if we now we can highlight this query here and press F5 and now we see that we get 45 uh, 44 rows and we see that we only get rows where the first name is John and of course we could so what and so now we can say okay but then we also want where the last name is young so we copy this code again and we change to where last name equals young and we run this and we see we only get the customers where they have a last name with young and i also want to highlight that SQL Server here is not case sensitive, so I could write Yang with a uh, lower Y and it would still work. And I can also you know, write everything in uppercase here and it would still work. And I can also combine those like, uh, like this and it will still work. Okay, so what if we say that okay we want to select all the customers where the first name is John and the last name is Yang so what we can do is if we copy this query again and paste it below here we simply use the AND operator so here we write where first name is equal to John and then we specify AND the last name is Yang so if we now run this query, we see that we will only get the rows, in this case it's only one person named John and with the last name of Young. So this is how you apply the AND operator. But what if we wanted to select all the customers who is either John or Aaron, for example. We could go here and we could say, so we want to select the customer key, the first name, and the last name from dim customer. And we could say where first name is equal to John or first name is equal to Aaron, like this. And now you see that we will get uh, 97 rows and we get all of the customers who are named either John or Aaron. We could also take this a little bit further and what if we wanted to combine? So how can we combine and sort of use or and at the same time? So let's say we wanted to select all of the customers whose first name is John or Aaron and the last name is young so what we could do is we could you know we could add here okay so now we have where first name is john or first name is aaron 
what if we specify okay we say and the last name is equal to young and there's going to be an error here or not an error but it's not going to work as we expected because if we see here i mean we get john and aaron but we get other last names we don't only get young so what is the we, we get young but we also get lu gao san lu and so forth so what is the problem here well that brings me to another topic that when you're working it's no sort of when you're combining and or or and specifically when you're typing or you need to be careful because you need to put the or condition in parenthesis like this so what this is going to do it's going to first evaluate what's inside of these parentheses here so it's going to say okay give me a list with all the customers who are wh where the first name is john and the first name is aaron and so that is an, a separate list and then after that it's going to apply and the last name is young so if we now run this query here we see that we will only get those two customers where the, where the first name is either John and, or Aaron and the last name is Young. So that is how you work with the WHERE operator. Uh, WHERE is always used to sort of apply filters to the query. And then we've taken a look at how we can use the AND operator and the OR operator and how we can combine AND OR AND in the same WHERE clause. And what we need to think about when we are combining the and or operators so i hope you guys enjoyed this video uh, in the next lecture we're going to talk about a different type of filtering you know for more more advanced filtering with the like clause so if you like what i do as i mentioned before please subscribe to my channel you know give a thumbs up and leave a comment here and i will see you guys in the next lecture thank you